So we're going to talk about that right now. That way you can interpret what they're actually saying. We'll talk about percent increase first. You know, in, in our in our world, uh, there's a, a certain thing called carrying capacity. And carrying capacity is the amount of a species, the uh, amount of the different number of species that the world can support. And if, if you go above that, then you can't feed everything and things will start to die. Things will go extinct. Are you familiar with that concept? Yeah. If you take an environmental science class, you'd find that out. Uh, so for, for us humans, you, you kind of have to realize that, that we all need space and food, right? And we're pretty fortunate here in America, we have those things, space and food. Uh, do other countries have those things in abundance? No, no, no. People are, are starving in other countries and they don't have a lot of space in other countries. So some areas would be overpopulated. Uh, some people suggest that the carrying capacity for, for humans will limit at some point. Right now we have close to 7 billion people. We got about six, I think there's about 6.6 .6 billion people in this, in this earth. Uh, let's pretend that as soon as we get to 9.4 billion people we reach our maximum. What we want to find out is what percent increase that is. How much is the increase from 6.6 .6 billion to 9.4 billion people? That'd be useful to know because if we understand that our population grows at 1% annually uh, or if, if it grows at half a percent annually, we could figure out how many years it's going to take before we reach our maximum cap. Does that make sense to you? So let's find that out. So percent increase does this. It says from one number to another number, what's the percentage gain? We're going to figure that out right now. So find the percent increase. From our 6.6 .6 billion people to 9.4 billion people. This is a three-step process. I'll write the steps out, but you've got to remember to follow them because I, I give you this exact problem on a test. Those numbers will be different, uh, but if, if you don't remember how to do it, you're not going to get it right. Uh, it's very specific what you have to do to get this thing right. Here's your steps. Step number one, you have, you have to find the difference between those two numbers. So step one, find the difference. Find the difference between those numbers. So here's step number one over here. Can you find the difference between 6.6 .6 and 9.4? Yeah. What's the difference mean? Add, subtract, subtract multiply, divide. Subtract. So subtract them. Tell me what that is. 9.4 minus 6.6. .6. Now, here's interpretation for that, all right? To get from 6.6 .6 billion to 9.4 billion, we would have to increase 2.8 billion people. You follow? Yeah. We're going to find that as a percentage, though, because we, we often think of percent gains. So here's the rest of the process here. Step number two, you're going to rewrite your problem as a percentage problem that we just covered. This is the, the, the crossover here. It's kind of cool. So we're going to rewrite. Rewrite the problem as a percentage problem. Here's how you rewrite it. 
You take your difference. What's, what's our difference that we just found? 2.8. 2.8. So we write 2.8. is what percent of 2.8 is what percent of, what did you start with? 6.6 .6 or 9.4? What, what was the population originally? 6.6 .6 or 9? You write that of the original value that they gave you. So here, here's the whole process, okay? First thing, you look, you, you're going from 6.6 from .6 to 9.4. That means you started with 6.6. .6. You're with me on that, folks. You started there, you're ending here. You find the difference as 2.8. We rewrite this as the, the difference, 2.8, is what percent of what you started with. Not what you ended with, what you started with. 6.6. .6. So this was the difference. And this is the original. Difference goes here is what percent of original. Can you follow that process? Yeah. Yes, no? Yeah. Hey, can you solve this? Yeah. 2.8 is what percent of 6.6? .6? I gave you a formula for that. That's why we did that, so we could do this problem. So number three, step three, is just solve it like we normally would. Let's do it together. I know 100 goes there. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, what goes right here? Good. What goes right here? X. Good. Why X? Because of what percent? What percent? I don't know. And the of? Cool. Can you keep going the rest of the way? Sure. What would you do now? Let's multiply. Let's do that. We're going to get. 6.6x, don't let the decimals confuse you, it's just a number, right? Can't you still divide by 6.6? Can't you still divide by 6.6? .6? Yep. Yes. You got calculators, right? Sweet. 6.6x equals 2.8 times 100 is going to give you 280. If we divide by 6.6, .6, X equals, did you get that as well? 280? Say that one more time, Rachel. 42.42. 42.42? Yes. 42.42. How many people got 42.42? What is that? Is that people? Percent. That's a percent. You pull in those lines, and you can or? You could, or you just abbrevi uh, approximate with the decimal. Here's the interpretation of this. The interpretation says, okay, if your population gains from 6.6 .6 billion to 9. Point, what did I say? 4 to 9.4 billion, that's an increase of 42%. Now, numerically, you go, well, that's only 2.8 billion people, but 42%, that's close to uh, that's not exactly half our population right now, but that that's quite a bit, isn't it? 42% gain, that's that's a lot of gain. So we have a lot of room to grow, but eventually, you know, that's going to it's going to shrink. It's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller as our population increases. How do you understand the, the percent increase at this point? Okay. Do you have one question? Question? Oh, the approximation? Yeah, we, we really should. That's a good point. If you are going to approximate it, we'll use that approximation symbol. Okay, let me show you one other way that we can do this and then we'll, we'll go ahead and get out of here. You make twelve dollars thirty cents an hour. You get an eight percent raise.
what we want to do is find your new <coughs> pay rate. Now this is slightly different. This is why I'm showing this problem right now. This is slightly different than the last problem. One problem went from one number to another number. This one already has your percent increase built into it. What's your percent increase right there? Eight. Eight percent. We actually did this problem already just in the previous section. All we have to do with this one, instead of doing the first step, find the difference, there's no difference to find, okay? You, you're given a number and a percentage. So step one, we go, well, there, there's nothing to that one. There's no difference to find. Do you see that there's no difference to find? You're not going to take $12 minus 8%. Those, those don't really match up. They don't have the same units. So step number two, you'd ask the question, what is 8% of, what did you start with? 1230. 1230? 12 What's 8% of $12.30? Can you set up the percent equation formula with that? Yes. Sure. Okay, we're going to go quickly through this because we don't have a lot of time left. What goes here? X. X. Good. What goes here? 12.30. Perfect. And somebody else, what goes here, please? 8%. Good. If we cross multiply, we'll get 100x equals 8 times 12.30. Can you someone tell me what that is? And if you divide that by 100, you're going to get x equals 0 0.984. <coughs> okay, look at the board here with me. 0 0.984, what is that? What's 0 0.984? We're looking for a percent? We're looking for dollars. That's dollars. How much is 0.9? Oh, this is going to get back. Remember that thing we talked about? It's 98.4 cents. You're getting 98 cents more per hour. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Literally makes sense to you? Get it? Yeah. So what's your new pay? Can you find your new pay? Yeah, it's $13.28. How did you find $13.28? You added that. So your old was $12.30. You're getting an 8% increase. An 8% increase was 98 cents. So we add, so new pay is $12.30 plus .984 cents, and what, what, uh, .984 dollars, and what is that again? $13.28. That four right there, does that four do anything for you? No. No, no. so we're going to round it. It was a five. Maybe. Yeah, if it was a five, we'd round it up. $13.28. How many people understood what we talked about today so far? Good, all right.